Hello everybody and welcome to Pokemon Emerald Nuzlocke. Alright guys, this has been a while in the making here. Come on controller. Alright, I just had my controller set. Come on. Okay, I've got my fast forward button set. I'm playing on a ROM or whatever. So yeah, we're going to be doing a Nuzlocke. And if you're unfamiliar with Nuzlocke rules, uh, quick uh, download or whatever information on that is you can only catch one Pokemon per route or a new area, technically. But it's technically by route. It'll tell you like up in the top right or whatever. Whether or not uh, you're in a new area. And you can only catch one Pokemon then for that area. So we're going to go with Sky Guy as our name here. Yep. And yeah. Also, if you if Pokemon faints, then it's dead, and you either have to release it, or you put it in your box named Set Grave or Cemetery or whatever, the dead. And it's considered dead, and you can't use it anymore. You got it? All right, here we go. Alright, so, uh, I figured out in my last Nuzlocke or whatever, Pokemon Platinum, that if I use my keyboard or whatever, all you'll hear is my theories clicking at the, at the game. So, I've actually hooked up one of my PS4 controllers. Sure, there's no, there's nothing related to time in this game anyway. And we're just doing a Nuzlocke anyway, so that means uh, through to the Elite Four Champion. Once that's done, we're done, game over, and we win. If we run out of Pokemon by any chance before that, I don't do it where, uh, if I get team wiped or whatever, where I lose all six of my Pokemon in one game, I continue, but all six of those Pokemon are dead. And so I gotta sort of restart with what I've got in the box. Makes it more fun and more interesting just in case that actually happens. Anyway, I'm starting this now because I really won't be online later in the afternoon to live stream. So I'm doing this now. I'm gonna upload it. So yeah. Let me, to... I'll let me know how you feel about like the fast forward button. I don't want to fast forward it as much because it makes the uh, music out of whack or whatever. Like that or so. And there's May. Right. Now we go up here, I believe. Okay. First things first. Oh, That's unfortunate. So how will you determine uh, your starter Pokemon, actually? Because we're about to get our starter Pokemon, either Trico, Mudkip, or Torchic here. But how we determine the starter Pokemon is the last number in your ID number. So up there it's 33412. Uh, so what we go off of is the last number. So 9 through 7 is Mudkip. If it ends in 9 through 7, we pick Mudkip. If it's 6 through 4, it's Torchic. 
and if it's one through three, it's Trico. If it act, if it's an actual zero, then you can actually pick who you want. But we are given Trico. Unfortunate. Uh, it might die. That might happen. Because it's Trico, it might die. If it was Mudkip, that thing never died. Mudkip's a tank. Well, Swamper it is. Anyway, it's evolved form. But nope, we got a Trico. Okay. You guys want me to do like a hmm. Maybe I should do like a theme or whatever. You want me to do like a Oh I I know I know, I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do I'm gonna name them with the Rainbow Six C Jap later names. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna do. Rainbow Six Siege theme does lie. Who, what's Trico though? Because hopefully it'll be around by the time it's a Sceptile. Yeah, I got the Trico. Sure. Which operator do we name this guy? He's a forest dude. Does he's a forest guy? Gecko? Grass type. What do you name this guy? Hmm. He's not very good, I'll be honest. He's honestly not a good Pokemon though. This is the worst of the three starters that we could have gotten. We're going Capitao because <laughs> Capitao is not that great, and so is this guy. But he's not as bad as Castle, so. If we run out of operators by chance, then I'll just name them something else. That happens. So right now, uh, none. If we encounter a Pokemon here, doesn't count. It does not count because uh, obviously. Uh, now, if we caught that, that'd be Castle. That would be Castle right there. If that's what we have to catch, that'd be Castle. There's something we need to change. Take speed fast. There we go. So the thing is, we gotta train Trico up a little bit here before we go anywhere. It's Pucciana. Ooh, level 6. Good job, Capitan. Never thought I'd say that before.
I think I will uh, just uh, turn this down just so that uh, I can fast forward it without uh, messing up your ears as much. I'll just turn that down so I can just fast forward and do my grinding here. I think that, that's actually a smart way to do it, that I thought of. It's actually pretty good. This way I can do my grinding and talk a bit without uh, really uh, having to worry about this. About the uh, interrupted sound quality and everything. Obviously, this will probably get more interesting once we get later into the game. But since we're at the beginning and everything, we gotta take care of all the beginning stuff. Alright, let's go up here now and train. Now that we're at level 8, we're a little bit higher. There's a wingle. Zigzagoon. And. Okay. I heard about some complaints about this game. I regard it as like probably one of the greatest gens made. Obviously, I love Gen 4. A lot of people don't like that one either. But I love Gen 4, I love Gen 2, and I love Gen 5. But I, I do really love this game. I have played it a ton. I mean, I guess I love... Love them all. Except for like really Gen 6 and 7. I haven't really played those that much. I played through them, but not as not to the extent that I've played 1 through 5. So I obviously love 1 through 5 so much more. And this is Gen 3 here we're doing. There we go, Capital is level 10. That will conclude that grinding session. The only problem is, I hope my level didn't go up high enough to the point where I accidentally kill something. Okay, normal sound back. Um, not now, Pucciano. I can't catch you right now. You wouldn't be that bad of an option for this route. I wouldn't mind catching you. I may. Torture. So obviously she gets a torture. Opposite. The, the Pokemon that's got the advantage to your starter. Luckily, it doesn't have any fire moves yet, so yeah. I'm also five levels higher. Alright, let's go back. I'm just gonna heal up quickly. I'll probably fast forward less as soon as I have the running shoes. Sweet, got a Pokedex.
Okay, here we go. We got the running shoes now, finally. Alright, now that we have Pokeballs, here's where it finally counts. What do we got? We got Castle. Here is Castle right here. Good, it was weak enough. I'm pretty sure any attack- oh wait, I could have technically have used Absorb. Because that's a grass type attack and that's a bug type Pokemon that would have been a resistant. Okay, we got Castle, guys. I think this is the worst thing in this game. Starting off real strong, we got two of the worst operators in Siege. Capitao and Castle right off the start. If we had gotten Mudkip, I probably would have named it Jaeger or whatever, because that thing was great. Alright, so we've got that. Now we can go up here, catch something up here. Okay, we got a Wingle. Gotta try a Pokeball. Do you think my attack lowered now? It won't die? What this? I just remembered that that's a special attack. But anyway, it lived. I almost killed it just because of my own stupidity. Although I don't know if the special uh, physical split happened yet. Are you serious? Yeah, level two. Good. Can't believe I had to waste three Pokeballs on that. What do we name you? Hmm. I'm gonna call you, uh, Pulse. Alright, so we got Capital Castle Pulse. Alright, let's see. Yep. Okay, in this situation, we already have one, so this would technically be fall under the duplicate clause, in which case, we don't have to catch it. We can run away and try to get something else. Oh my gosh. 
That is extremely lucky. That thing, that is rare. It can't do anything yet. But I don't want to kill it on accident. It's a sweet guide, a psychic type. This is extremely lucky. Well, I know that this is a special attack, so we're fine. What do I mean? Assuming Pulse here doesn't kill worlds. Just don't quit. Okay. Our only Pokeball. I really should have gotten more. Here. That made me a little nervous. But we got it. We got it, guys. This is a psychic peg. This is a pretty smart Pokemon. I'm gonna call you... So, pretty smart operator would be someone that works with some type of device or machine or something. You're gonna be Twitch. I don't know if that spelled right, but hopefully. Alright, so we got Capitao, Castle, Pulse, and Twitch. I like check the time periodically just so, uh, you know, it, uh, just so I can keep track of the time for the episodes. This first episode is going to be a bit longer than the average for the normals moving forward. So, yeah. This is going so much better than the other one that I was practicing with before. I killed everything in the first few routes. Luckily, I caught everything in the first few routes here. Another Wurmple. There we go, good. We run that. Well, that's effective, of course. Hmm. So like here because I can't catch this because you know I caught a Ralts already in this air in this route. That's how it goes. Need some health back. If I had a capture card, I would gladly uh, be playing the, like, Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire remakes of this. Just because those are, obviously the original's great, but those are just better and easier to play through. Because, you know, they've been fixed and everything. 
and the complaints or whatever have been addressed, basically. Let's me alone. Yeah, I'm not gonna change just because pretty much my other Pokemon are really low, also. See, even though I'm eight levels higher, a quick attack didn't kill. That's how uh, bad uh, Trico is. Again. The shoeless. <laughs> Put me to sleep. It's kind of funny. All right, we made it to Petalberg City. Okay, we're almost at about 28 minutes now. Uh, this is where we're going to call it for the episode, guys. Uh, this part's gonna be... This part will be... None of the other parts, I mean, will be exactly longer than this one. In fact, they'll probably be around 20 minutes moving forward. But, you know, uh, first parts always take a little bit longer to go through. Alright, guys. So call it for this first episode, join us in the next episode, and I think I'll take care of any uh, major grinding that I have to do, like leveling up with my other Pokemon, like off screen and everything. Don't worry, I'll play it right. If it dies, then I'll, uh, then I'll obviously make sure I don't use it anymore. It's, I'm going to play it right. You got my word on it, okay? And if it does die off screen, we'll hold a funeral at the beginning of each episode. If if something does die off screen. All right, guys, uh, that'll be it for this episode. Uh, tune in next time. And what the heck is that? Okay. And join us in the next episode. All right, make sure to hit that subscribe button. We'll see you later. Bye bye.